can't do it like that. No. <laughs> It's like we're like all the way up, up, up in the stands. On the yeah, <laughs> super tiny. <laughs> Sorry. Where are we going? Which one? There's two. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that was? <laughs> so what's happening? We are missing our... And all of them. I doubt that I'll be the favorite, but just so you know that that will be the favorite. Thank you. That was so funny. Real good tonight. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> What up everyone, it's Steel. I'm here in South End, England. You want a tour of the hotel room? There it is. It's literally the hotel room. We got two twin beds, super comfy. When we got here, they were pushed together. Now there's a little bit of separation because you know I'm not trying to snuggle at night. And if you were wondering if that was just a voice crack, it in fact was a voice crack. So this is the view from the hotel room. Apparently, apparently, the people in this town told us that this right here is the longest pier in the entire world. It's 1.75 miles. Doesn't look that long here, but you go down on the beach and it is long. So yeah, we arrived in South End, England yesterday. Um, I was so I, every time I go on a trip, I have this idea. I want to film some stuff and I want to do something cool, but it never happens because I always just end up being way more busy, even when I'm traveling, than I originally intend to be. So I filmed like three things when I left Indiana and got to Washington, and then flew to London, and then drove from London to here. But I was just so exhausted, I just didn't want to film anything. Anyway, just a little life update. We've had our first two training sessions here, and we have one more tonight. We had one training session last night when we got off the bus, off the plane, long day of travel. The flight actually landed an hour early, um, which was great, like short five and a half hour flight from DC to London. But we had to sit in the airport for four and a half hours while we waited for our like van or bus to arrive. So we had training, got used to the pool. It's really cool. I'm gonna bring this camera so I can film the pool a little bit um, this afternoon and put those clips over this voiceover right now as I do. Um, but the dryland center is great, the pool is great. Um, and then this morning, Brandon and I had 10 meter synchro. We got up on 10 meter. The 10 meter is great, it is very wide, so it makes synchro a lot better and a lot less scary. Because sometimes you get on a narrow 10 meter and everything's just. You're, you're so close to the person next to you, it's just kind of freaky, but this pool is great. I'm actually really loving it. Um, so we have one more dive up there this afternoon. And then we have all of tomorrow complete training sessions, just two sessions tomorrow. And then the day after that, we fly to Budapest for the World Championships. I don't know, I'm really excited because we're gonna go explore the pier in about half an hour, I think. I don't even know what time it is. It is 2.20, in 20 minutes we're gonna go explore the pier. Not gonna walk the whole thing because I don't really wanna walk almost two miles down and then two miles back and then go straight into training. But check it out, there's an amusement park literally right there. There's one right there, I think it's all one. It's right there, but it's like you go under the pier and you're in the amusement park and it's absolutely great. So I guess really more than anything, this video is just kind of like a life update video. Um, Cause I haven't posted a video in like maybe three and a half, four weeks, maybe three weeks. I don't even know, I can't remember the last time I've I put a video out, um, and that is a text from my wife, who is six hours behind me, and that is a lot of messages all at once. Um, but yeah, so I guess that's the first thing, is last time I made a video, I was not married, and now I've been married for two weeks. That is really cool. So the first thing I want to address is, I've filmed so much over the past month of my life, but I haven't released any of it because there's so much production that has gone into everything that I've filmed that I just... A lot of the videos I just made because I want the videos, I don't really want to share them, but some of them I want to share and I want to share to you guys and show you what I've been working on. Um, but I guess the first one is I filmed a wedding video for Hillary and I's wedding. Um, 
And that wedding video is not like your typical like wedding montage XYZ because I couldn't do that during my wedding day because I had to be in my wedding and I didn't want to just film my own wedding. So what I did is I had Glenn, who was a groomsman. You guys know Glenn from uh, past videos over the past five years. Um, he got some B-roll shots throughout the wedding day, um, which look phenomenal. I can't wait to share some of those with you guys. After that, I just set up a camera in the back of the venue and filmed the entire thing and recorded our vows. And that's just kind of for me. I, I just wanted our full ceremony so I can go back in the future and watch that and just kind of relive that moment um, because it was so cool to be um, just in the mountains getting married to Hillary, who is the woman I am madly in love with and I'm so excited I get to spend the rest of my life with her. And so I get to go back on that moment um, and listen to us share our vows to each other um, with such an amazing backdrop. But that's, that's part of the video I'll never share, but the B-roll stuff, um, what I've done is for the wedding video, I kind of filmed it periodically. So it didn't, it wasn't just like wedding morning video starting like stereotypical. It started like a week before I started filming because it was a destination wedding and we did a journey out there. So I filmed the journey. I filmed what was going on in my head each day. I filmed X, Y, and Z and I'm, I'm still putting it together. It's about 23 minutes long at this moment and I'm still not even done going through all the footage, but it's, it's not normal style video but it is something I really wanted to work on and I've worked hard on it and I'm really excited to just continue to piece it together. And so the next thing is I filmed a montage when we were in Cancun on our honeymoon and I finished that, I have finished putting it together, but I don't really wanna post it right now. It's something I kinda of wanna hold on to for a little bit, just like the proposal video I did for Hillary. Um, I haven't even shared that and that was seven months ago at this point that I proposed to Hillary um, and finished the video and it's it's kind of like the wedding video. It was filmed, I started filming it a few months in advance um, and it tells a story the exact way I wanna tell a story and I think I will release that video someday but right now it's just something my wife and I really cherish and really can go back on and remember the times and remember when I first asked her parents if I could marry her and then when I bought the ring and when I got the ring and then when we made the adventure to Nashville when I actually proposed, it tells such a cool story. And that's something I go back on at least once a month and rewatch and get all the feels for it. And that's what I'm doing with the wedding video. And that's what I'm kind of doing with this montage from Cancun is I just kind of want to hold on to it a little bit. Maybe that's selfish, but I'm going to be selfish in this area um, <laughs> because I can. But yeah, all the stuff I've been filming has gone directly into those videos and I've put so much work into them and there's stuff y'all may never see, but there's stuff I'm going to keep and my wife's going to keep and we're just going to go back on and it. It's, that's why I do filmmaking. That's, those are the things I desire to make. I, I'm a filmmaker. I go to school for filmmaking and people, when I tell them that, they're like, oh, you're going to move to Hollywood and you're going to like make movies. And my answer is always no. I don't want to move to Hollywood. I don't want to move to Los Angeles. I I want to be in a place with filmmaking where I can make documentaries because for me, telling a raw story is what really gets me fired up. Telling my story of when I proposed to Hillary, telling our story of when we got married, telling the story of us in Cancun, that is what gets me fired up. And for me, going out to LA is not gonna further my document, like my documentary career. Um, it's just going to be finding the stories where I'm at that's really going to further that. So um, yeah, life update. Still, um, it's summer. I'm in England getting ready for World Championships, but I'm also going to Budapest for the World Championships. And then when I get back, I'm doing prep work for a documentary I'm making. Um, so all the film work I've done, I've been doing a lot. I haven't slowed down at all, but it's stuff you guys won't see. So it seems like I've slowed down a lot. So yeah, I think that was a good little life update. Also, um, I've spent a lot more time doing photography than I have film. I've spent a lot of time on film, but I've spent a lot of time doing photography and not just like a uh, normal, like take your Canon DSLR out. No, I, I'm only shooting film. I went out to Colorado for my wedding in Mexico for my honeymoon and the pictures I took were only on Film. So I'm currently waiting for the film that I shot in Colorado and Mexico to be developed and get sent back to me So I probably won't see those until I'm in Budapest um, and I'm shooting a bunch of rolls of film out here in England and in Budapest so <sighs> I've been having way too much fun just not posting things But I do plan to post more as more things come in and as I get re-inspired for more 
things that are post worthy, but right now I've just been kind of doing my own thing with film and photography and it's really re-inspired me to go deeper with it and put more effort and time into it. Because I'm not thinking about just pumping out a video every day. Like, if I'm pumping a video out every day, it's not going to be as high quality as if I pump out a video once every couple months. Um, I'm still filming a lot various days throughout the week, but it all tells up to a grander narrative, which is so important for me. And that's something I realized through doing daily videos is that the grander narrative is so vital. So yeah, I think all I'm going to do for the rest of this video, which you've already seen in this video, is film stuff from training this afternoon, or evening I guess. Um, and that'll be that. So thanks for watching. I plan on filming more stuff, probably not here in England, but especially when I'm in Budapest.